Hey everybody. So what we're doing today is we're changing the oil in the Wheel Horse 520 in the rear differential. This, um, I use full synthetic Mobile One and it always seems to blow past the seals no matter what I try to do. So what I'm going to do is, uh, just got to stop this from leaking. You can see the, uh, it's, it's pretty brown. It's pretty dark. So uh, I've got a bunch of hours, uh, over 300 hours on this. It's supposed to be changed, I think, every 200. I might even have closer to 400 hours on this oil. So we're going to get this changed out and uh, get this dumped, and we'll show you the process of how we do it. Yeah, so that oil has a, a brownish look to it, you can see. And it has been getting kind of hot, so I've done a lot of work plowing uh, the garden, pushing snow in the winter, obviously cutting the lawn. So it's time to get this changed out. So we're going to let this drain, and then I'm going to take the filter out. Um, and after I do that, I'm going to measure all of this oil so I know how much I took out, so I know how much to put back in. All right, next step, we're going to take some compressed air, blow all those fins out. Maybe you can see that in there. It's hard with... Yep, see all those fins? We're going to blow out those fins just to get that stuff out to help keep it cool. All right, that's much better. That hasn't been done in probably 300, 400 hours. So it's real, real good to get those fins cleaned out. So that'll help keep things... I have been noticing that the oil's been kind of hot, so uh, that's probably one of the reasons. It hasn't been cooling as well. So next step... Next step is uh, I'm going to coat those threads with some pipe dope so we don't get any leaks. So we'll do that and then I'm going to tighten that back up. Well, this is a, a very messy job, as you can tell. When you get this filter off, here's the old one. It's an old uh, wheel horse filter. When you get that off, oil is going to go everywhere. There's not much you can do about it. And if you have a hitch mounted for the plow attachment, like I do, oil goes everywhere and follows every little path. So I got it all over the driveway. But <clears throat> anyway, I thought maybe you would want to know what part that is. It's Stens. Uh, that's what I'm using. 120-265. And um, you can see Toro 79, 520, uh, 5270. Uh, so this is a common replacement for a lot of these types of tractors, Cubs, John Deere's, pretty much a standard part. So we have that in. We've got our oil. I'm guessing that's probably, well, it's got to be close to a gallon. But we're going to we're gonna put it in our measuring cup here and see how much we have. And then we're going to replace it with full synthetic uh, 10W30. And we'll get started on that. And when we do that, there's a bolt, which you can't see, which is right there. There's two of them. And you loosen that up so that'll allow you to fill from the top and let the air out of the system. Otherwise, it'll take forever to fill it. All right, we're all set. I'll tell you, I forgot how much I dislike doing this job. It's messy. I got oil everywhere. Got oil down here, it's all dripping. And they have to get some uh, degreaser on this. Clean it up real good. But well, we're in good shape. I've tested it. And we're full. We're full. And uh, Hydro works good. I wound up using um, Sarah over here. Oh, it's a little dark. 
so I want to be using a 10W40, uh, a synthetic blend. And I'm hoping that that's going to stop a little bit of that uh, misting that I'm getting. So I'm going to clean this all, all this up, take it for a drive up and down the uh, driveway, make sure it works good, um, and that should be good for another couple hundred hours. So let's take a look one more thing at you know, what I've been up to. It's been a while since I've done a video. Might be a little dark. I've, uh, let me get the light here. Pulled the motor from the Skidoo and I power washed it. And I put on new Fox shocks all the way around. You can see those under there. Pretty neat, pretty cool. And I had a huge mouse nest in there. So I got this all, and actually you can see what the mice did. Chewed the insulation. So I got that all cleaned out. And the reason I took the motor out was because I had a bad seal. You can see the seal is gone completely. That so much so that the wire, the wire spring that goes around it to keep it close to the shaft wore right through. So I just noticed that I was getting grease on the back of my on the back of my clutch. So I pulled the motor and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a new seal in there and I'm gonna put a new seal on the other side as well. But first I gotta pull the flywheel and the stator that's behind that. And then there's a bunch of these bolts I gotta take out. That'll let me take the top off. And this uses a special kind of grease called Isoflex. And Isoflex grease is basically oil and gasoline resistant, which you need in a two-stroke, because obviously gas and oil are mixing. Uh, and they get carried into down here into the uh, combustion chamber and then down here into the bearings and so forth. Here's my oil injector. That's right there. I didn't have to take that off which is a good thing, so that can stay where it is. So my thought is I'm just gonna pull this, this my water pump. Uh, that's good, but I'm gonna put a new thermostat in it. Pressure's uh, 135 in each, in each uh, cylinder, so we're good there. No, we don't need to top end rebuild, but I gotta get this seal out. And the only way to get this seal out, basically, is there's a, there's a the seal itself has a lip around it so you've got to crack the case there are ways that you can do it by putting this in the freezer and I, I just had a heck of a time getting that that seal out so I'm just thought it best to just pull this so I pulled it I'm gonna pop this off inspect the bearings make sure everything looks good get isogre isoflex grease in them new seals button it back up and uh, put it back in there and it's a good opportunity to change the antifreeze and coolant and all that jazz. So that's what I've been up to. If you like this video, click that like subscribe button and uh, the bell notification and we will see everybody in the next video.